Hi boys and girls. Okay, today we're going to be doing our printmaking with the printing plates that we made um, last week. So you're going to gently want to take this tape off. Don't rip your um, foam. I had that happen one time. So carefully take off that, that front piece of paper. We don't need that anymore. You can take that home if you want to. I'm going to set that aside. And now we're going to put some ink on our printing uh, plate here. You don't need very much for this. I'm just going to put a little bit there. And then you're going to take your brayer. That's what this is called. Looks like a little roller. And you're going to go back and forth, back and forth, until you hear like a sticky, tacky sound. So I'm listening for that sound. And right now I don't hear it yet, so I know I'm not quite ready. But when your ink starts making a sticky sound, I still don't hear it, so I'm going to keep listening. Oops. Okay, I don't hear it, so I'm going to actually put a little bit more ink on here because I should hear a really sticky sound. Let's put a little bit more. You don't want too much because then it gets down in the grooves and it messes up your print. But you want enough that you hear. Oh, I'm starting to hear it. You hear that? It's like staticky almost. Okay. There is a little squeaky sound. That's actually just the roller. But that that um, sticky sound that you hear. Hear that? That is what we want to hear. That means that our ink is ready. And if you flip this over your brayer over it will not um, it won't get on the mat the tray here okay so actually I don't want to flip it over I'm ready to use that to ink up my plate so once you have it nice and tacky sounding you're going to take it and roll it right over your printing plate make sure you get plenty of ink on there I'm going both directions because I want to make sure I get all the way to the edges and if you need more, just rub your um, brayer across the ink plate again. So we have the ink plate and we have the printing plate. I'm kind of calling them both the same thing, aren't I? This one is for printing. Okay, I feel like it looks good. When you feel like it's nice and black and everything has a good, oops, has a good layer of ink on it, then you're going to, I'm going to push this over. You're going to get your your sheet that you're going to print on and we want the road or the bottom of our printing plate to be along the center edge so I'm going to line, I'm going to flip it over and line up the top with the top now you can't move it around once you press it down you got to leave it okay press it down and give it a really good massage so sometimes a print won't be good not because you don't have enough ink but because you didn't give it a good enough back massage. So really make sure that you've rubbed it nice and firm. Take put some put some muscle into it. Make sure that you really pressed everywhere, okay? You don't want any spots that didn't get the ink pushed down onto the paper. Okay? And then when you think you've got it all done, you're going to peel it off. And there you go. Okay? So that is my reflection into the water. Now I'm going to turn it over, set it to the side, add more ink. And remember, we want that special sound, don't we? We want that tacky sound. So, And you're going to take turns with this. There will be one of these at each table. So you want to take turns with the people at your table. Oops. Okay, I'm starting to hear it, but I want to make sure that I've got ink all the way to the edges of this. I don't want to just have it in the middle. I want to spread it out, so that's why I'm rolling it back and forth until I hear that. Ooh, there it's getting to be that really good sound. Okay, that means I'm ready. I'm going to go ahead and put it on here. So you're going to make two prints, one on your warm colors. And one on your cool colors. Okay. 
think I'm ready for my second print. And I would like you to take turns at your table. So if you've done one print, make sure you let somebody else do a print before you go on to your second print, okay? Take turns. All right, I'm gonna slide this over, get my paper back. If you've got ink on your fingers, you may wanna keep a, a roll of paper towels to wipe your fingers on so that you don't get it onto your paper where you don't want it. Okay, remember, I wanna make sure that the road or the bottom part of my city is here because we want this to look like it's a reflection in the water. Okay, and then line it up before you press down, line it up with the top, I'm lining it up with the top edge. There, I'm gonna go with that. Now I noticed that I have ink here and I don't wanna just stick my hand in it, so I'm gonna use this paper towel to press on that because I don't wanna get that all over my hand and I know I will. You're definitely gonna wanna keep some paper towels at your table if you don't have some. I should, there should be a roll on your table, but if not, um, grab some out of the, the paper towel dispenser. And remember, this is the part where we want to really make sure that we have pressed down. Give it a good massage. Okay? Don't pull it up until you're sure that every spot of it has been pressed down. All right, here we go. Ooh, that was a really good one. Check it out. All right. When you have both prints, you're gonna put this on the drying rack to dry, and you're gonna rinse this off in the sink. All that, most of that will wash off. You can take this home, and if you wanna do more prints at home, of course you'll have to get some ink, but um, I've done these before with um, some paint, so you can use temper paint if you have it. You can try other things that, that you have at home, see if they work, okay? All right, have fun.